Hello and welcome to Sandy Springs Summer House and I will be narrating while I build this house. So I've started on a nice clean lot that is in Sandy Springs, my world that I made. And I'm starting off with sort of like a porchy decking. I'm not sure what it's called, I can't remember. And just adding in some stairs there. Nice railings. Sorry, it's blurry. It's um anyway um sorry about that um and so I've just added uh, like a gate fence around there and yeah just measuring out how far I need the house now it's a um thirty by forty lot so it's not the biggest lot um because biggest to sixty four by sixty four and um this world is just base game it's nothing else it's just base game and um it is in fast forward so like it's not like this isn't the speed that i went at um like the whole thing is times four speed and basically just making the room plan um on there and yeah i'm trying to find some really good windows but none really actually suited the house apart from the white ones i can't remember what they're called so yeah and now because it's all base game i had a bit of trouble so i kept changing like doors and playground equipment and I would say this is a house for a family of four, two parents and two boys and um well children boys. So yeah. And now I'm just adding in like some good doors that I thought would match the um house and like arches. Um I can sort of see it coming together, so that's always a good sign. And I tried those big windows that let in loads of light, but they really didn't work. So I just decided to have smaller windows and like more of them because it looked better. And yeah, I'm. Oh, sorry about that. That's a technical issue. And we're back. And um, so. Oh yeah, my thingy went funny, so I had to like retry the game. That's why my mouse was going around everywhere. And I am adding in a pool and some pool lounges. And it's just because it's a nice family thing. And um, yeah, I like pools. I like adding in pools. So yep, yeah, that's the pool going in with the fence. And um, I couldn't really find a good gate, but eventually like I got there, so... Um, hopefully that looks okay. I mean, this is my first time actually recording a um, house building, so I sort of didn't really know what to do or how fast to do it. But hopefully it's okay for you guys. And um, the stairs wouldn't like go up, so I had to build like a big room just for now, um, so that it would go up. And the stairs are placed. And I was just doing um the wall underneath the stairs because, you know, you don't want that to look rubbish when the rest is good. Oh yeah, adding in some pillars because I thought it'd be nice for the children and the grown-ups to have like their own balconies. Um, because I like balconies too, and it was so annoying because I didn't have the um, floor in so I kept drawing I kept putting um, the fence on the f ground like in the terrain so that got quite annoying and I tried to put like a pillar up there to look really cool but it wasn't the right height and now I'm just doing some wall well <laughs> I forgot what it's called sorry um, like yeah plans for the upstairs and adding in some windows I still use the same windows because um, 
I just couldn't find any other better windows apart from like the ones that I use in this house and yeah so now I'm just adding in the doors and um yeah I decided to have the parents have their own ensuite because I like en suites as well you should know that because I do like an en suite in every house that I make and trying to do the room co colour and yeah that carpet isn't the carpet that's that I'm actually going to have by the way because I do get like better but I just needed the floor and since that was an easy floor to get then I just used it now I'm just doing the floors and the walls for all the rooms and I added in some more windows because um, natural light's good to come in like that and yeah I I changed the style on like that boys room like up the top left um, of the floor because I thought that would suit like red and blue and I was just going random with some trees that actually are in um, my world that I made Sandy Springs and yeah I think I might do a video on how to create a world because like it's really um, fun and like loads of people should be able to do it um, so yeah I will probably do a video on that well no I won't probably I'll, I will do a video on how to create your own world I'm doing the roof now and I've coloured the outside of the house because it just looked so plain. I mean not that white's not plain but I like it to have a bit of colour. And I'm just colouring the um oh the banister. Um but um yeah and as you can see I've done the balcony and putting in a door to go through um, each um, room to go onto their balconies but oh phew <laughs> I was just remembering whether I noticed that they weren't base game doors because um, well I, I want this to be base game so anyone can like try and make it now I'm just doing kitchen now and like I'm really bad at kitchens and I always make them too big because like I never actually really know what to put in a kitchen so like I just experimented and like used some cheats and stuff and the cheats that I did use is move objects on and I think that's it yeah move objects on and off you can like place it anywhere I didn't actually have the grid on for that um, which I normally do but like it looked so much better and you could see like how to oh yeah um, I did use another cheat it was a by debug on as well because like I don't think I should like hide the cheats that I use from you because you probably know it already but I think it's just good for anyone who doesn't know to like be told I think I'll do a video on cheats as well but like right now I'm doing this and I've added in some pots and pans just as a little decoration and I've done a bar stool with like some drinks bar and um, I've put in the fridge and the counters and the stove and there's a coffee maker over there I don't know why but I like coffee makers and that's quite good to have and yeah I think I might be going into um, the dining room yeah I'm doing the dining room I keep forgetting that you can't place um, chairs like right in front of a door or a arch so that's why I had a bit of difficulty and I normally just use those lights I think they're called the lucid lights but I'm not sure but yeah I sometimes use those but then I just 
used to cheat by debug and use some lights like that and you can't actually see that in gameplay mode so that's quite good it just helps because then you have don't have to have so much space for um lights and i'm right now i'm just decorating the um dining room putting some pictures up and then i realized that that's um not a base game picture so have to take that down but like i like the flowers that i used in there because like they sort of go with the room but then don't clash together i think i'm yeah i'm doing the bathroom now and i can't use that i can use that and yep yeah, adding in some counters for the taps the thing i like about this bathroom is it's not too cramped but then it's like not got like loads of space so that you're like you have nothing to do with them with it i mean i think i'm gonna start work on the living room now yep yeah. and like it, I just like the open feel of that room because it you just walk right into it and like you can just sit down and watch TV and put some music on. Whereas the other rooms have um uh like doors leading in. I th I'd say I'm quite a fast um builder and like buyer because I. I don't know how long this took me. It took me about an hour to do this, and like some people take like way longer. And um, yeah, so I've got a console in there and putting in a rug. Um, just creating a style for that. Yeah, there we go. And there's a lovely coffee table. I thought it went really good. Um, okay, so that, oh, whoops, sorry, I skipped a, um, thingy, my bob, a scene, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it, that bottom bit is all done now. Must have accidentally deleted a frame. Now I'm working on the parents' bedroom, which is the master bedroom, and, like, that small room like on the end is going to be the ensuite and then that middle room is like the I don't know what to call it it's basically um a dressing room but yeah a dressing room and i thought those rugs would really go well because like they go in a row and then it looks so much better and the bedroom i didn't put much in that bedroom like hardly anything but I've got a nice theme going on, so I'm happy about that. I wasn't sure what to do for the um, bathroom, but then I sort of figured it out and stuff. And just working on the balcony, and like I kept putting random stuff in because I really didn't know what I actually wanted in there. But in the end, I think I just went for a table, bench, and a uh, lounger. Yeah, I went for a lounger. I swapped the lounger because that other one wasn't base game and I wanted it to be base game. Then uh, I realised that that hover thingy wasn't base game. That was Into the Future. Oh, by the way, if you don't have Into the Future, you should totally get it. Like it's the one of the best expansion packs. It gets it gives you so much, like even elevators and lifts and stuff. So like if you don't have that, that that's a good one to get. In the end I think I designed on swing and a bench um for the kids uh balcony and I got a nice car there. Now I'm gonna work on the kids' bedroom. This keeps changing like all the time. Like I I just really didn't know how to do it and what to put in it so in the end i'm i am quite proud of what i did because like i couldn't really find much um to put in there but like yeah it went well 
got some pictures in there two single beds now I, I like having seating areas like with a coffee table in the middle because I just think it gives a nice feel to chat and you know things like that so yeah I like people to just sit and chat um, about daily life sometimes and I put a TV there and they're both both the beds are there so that the TV's like for both of them just changing the colour of the beds I think I decide red yeah that's red and then that one is blue I think yeah that chair's blue I just like the red and blue sort of idea and then I put like a big rug down there and change that colour I think that's red and blue too I just like red and blue for boys bedrooms and small lucid lights yeah I like those lights they're very ha helpful because like they're not too expensive but then they give loads of light and you can't exactly see them that much oh yeah I did a seating area for the parents as well and like I thought that would take up some space so that's why I put it in there like I did a pink and blue sort of theme I like doing themes for rooms so that was that theme now I had a bit of trouble um, with the um, TV that I was putting into the adult bedroom um because like there was a window there and i didn't want them to like crane their necks to like have to see so i not that they're actual people but um if they were then i wouldn't like to like crane my neck so that i can turn and see and watch tv in bed but then it's good because they can sit and watch tv or they could lie in bed and watch tv so yeah I think that's almost done yeah I'm almost done and I think I'm quite proud with this house I mean I oh yeah I do an outside bit it might not show because I accidentally deleted that bit but it goes into the um, video and you'll see the back bit so these are the screenshots and that's like an overall that's a pool one another overall now that's the bathroom and lots of different angles of it and the kitchen I like that angle and another angle now I like that screenshot of the um, dining room I thought it was pretty good with the desk at the end and the di uh, the living room I love the living room it's probably my favorite place ah uh, that's the outside bit and um so yeah and that was the seating bit and that was the corridor I don't know why I did that but anyway that's the adults bedroom and ensuite and everything really dress room dressing room and stuff like that and that's their um, balcony and yeah and that's the kids bedroom for two boys and I'm really pleased with that bedroom because it looks very um, in but like not too funky or crowded and that's their outdoor bit balcony and another overall another overall please like comment and subscribe for more videos on sims 3 all the time